All right, we're out here at Ponce Inlet again. It's morning, it's early. Well, early, I guess for some of you guys, it's probably not early enough, but it's early, probably a little after eight. We're out here to try our luck. You can see there's a bunch of fishermen out here already. So we're down here a little bit further. We wanted to be up here near the, the, the bend, if you will. Um, but we're down here, we're gonna give our luck. But it's a beautiful day, beautiful morning, a little overcast, which is great. It'll be nice when the sun comes out, but it's right, it's nice right now. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. So stay tuned. So I finally figured out these are Minhadens and bluefish love them. And uh, I kept trying to figure out what they were before. I, I always picked them up because they worked well and I just didn't recall the name. So they're Minhadens and they work really well with bluefish. Someone just got one down there, or at least he had one on the line. I don't know if he's gonna bring it in, but we'll see what happens. Right now, I'm gonna put some finger mullet on my other lines. They're a little frozen right now, so I'm gonna put them in the water. So I'm using this metal lead. I created this metal lead last night, and I'm using this metal lead. It's more for specific bluefish or anything else with large teeth and grab instead of tearing up my model. Now, I do have hooks with long shanks or J hooks. Um, didn't want to use them, just wanted to use the metal leads. I might change that up later, but we'll see how this goes. These circle hooks are a little bit of a pain, especially when the fish are frozen to get on. I'm trying to hook it through without ripping the fish, but it's kind of hard. The gentleman next to us caught a sea robin. Now, if you're not familiar with the sea robin, you can see it right here. It kind of reminds me of like a blowfish, but it's not a blowfish. Um, it's popular in game fishing for some reason, I don't know why, but it's also harvest harvested for um, fish meal, pet food, fertilizer, and of course you can use it for bait. Fish on! Oh, I don't know, maybe I lost it. No, I got it. I got it. He's coming. He's coming. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I got something coming in. Can't really tell what it is yet. As it's getting closer, it doesn't seem like a fish because it's not really splashing around that uh, that much. A little bit. Oh, it's a stingray. So I got a stingray, but I'm not complaining about it. Some people aren't happy about catching stingrays. I'm actually fine about you know fine with it. One, you can use them as bait. You can cut the wings off. Uh, sharks love um, stingray. And also, if the stingray is big enough, you can actually fillet the wings. If you've never tried it, it's actually not too bad. you got to get it big enough. Um, some people don't like it because they say it's a little fishy, but I don't think it's actually fishy at all. I think it's actually not too bad. I've heard of people actually trying the stingray liver. I tried it one time. It's a little soft and kind of mushy for me, but other than that... Um, it wasn't too bad. I won't try it again, put it that way. But as far as eating the stingray, it's actually not a bad, if you get them big enough, play the wings, it's not bad at all. They left me the head. So I gotta figure out how to do this a little bit better as far as putting it on so I can hook these guys. So next. Next up. You can see here, I'm trying to give the fish head to the birds and they're just kind of flying around. Let's see if they'll... So I'm going to throw it up and hopefully they'll get it. Oh, he came down. He's going to get it. So it doesn't go to waste and give it to the birds. <laughs> Here's somebody else that caught a stingray down from us. And if you look, see all the stuff that they pulled in? It got stuck, but look what it got stuck on it. There's a bunch of tackle down there, lines and stuff. You can get snagged on and hooked. And look at all the stuff that uh, he brought in. Uh, you gotta be patient. Is it blue? Yeah. All right, we're gonna try the go fish cam. We'll see what happens. Last time we tried, we didn't get anything, but it didn't work when we threw it out. So we're gonna try it again, and it's, it's pretty clear. We'll give it a shot. Oh, as you can see, a little spade fish. It's coming around, trying to grab the shrimp right there. Look at it. Our hook's a little bit big, so maybe it won't get the, maybe it'll get hooked, maybe it won't. But look at it, it's trying to take the shrimp right there. 
And you can see we have a pompano rig on there. Um, you can see it, it also has uh, fish gum. I mean, it's sometimes it's called fish bites. You can see the pink. I don't know if that attracts them. It seems to at sometimes attract some of the fish. We also have uh, you know, a bright little float on there. Um, you can see it is greenish and some beads on there. But you can see it's still trying to, it, it took it, but it's still trying to go after like the fish, fish gum. It keeps trying to go at it, but we didn't hook it, that's for sure. But you can see it, it must like it. It's trying to get it and it keeps trying and it keeps trying. These fish are kind of curious anyway. Um, if you watched another one of our videos, we actually put a 3D camera down in the water and it was curious about the camera. All right, we're gonna pack it up here for today. We saw some people, a guy next to us caught a little blue, wasn't a big blue. It looks like the run is done as far as the run from the bigger blues. Um, we saw somebody catch stingray as well. Now down at the end of the pier, we heard somebody did catch a big blue. Um, I didn't see it, but uh, they did say that one guy caught one. So I, there's not as many. I had some bites here today. When I pulled it in, they took half the fish, but I, I didn't get it. So we've been sitting here for a few hours. Not much luck. So we're gonna pack it up here and we're gonna try someplace different. So we didn't have much luck down here today, but you can see last week, if you watched the video for last week, we were getting blues left and right. We actually caught our limit. It was a wonderful day of catching a lot of blues and they were down in the area where we were fishing. But this week, not so much. But we had a friend that was a diver and he went diving along the rocks down at the jetty as far as it went out and he came back around. And you can see if you went down further where the rocks were, there was a lot of blues out there. Um, they were just down near the ends. I, I wouldn't say all the way at the end of the rock, but past the, the um, jetty where the concrete ends. So there's a portion of it um, the ponds inlet where the um, the pier goes out is concrete and it has metal bars around it but if you go past that it's basically the jetty is just rocks and you have to go further out in there to get where all these bluefish are and you can see there's just hundreds of them just swimming around out there and you said there was a lot of orange eggs in the rocks so I guess they laid their eggs on the rocks out there and uh, it was just a great sight and it was good that he found out to where they were because we thought they'd left but they were down uh, near the end of or not I shouldn't say all the way at the end of the jetty but near the end of the jetty um, where they were laying their eggs so watch our next video and you'll see us we went out of the rocks so please subscribe tap that button because it helps us out and we can produce more great quality videos until next time see ya